Hey guys, for this video, we're going to check out this Rock Gold 12 volt tire inflator. They were nice enough to send me this item for free so I can make a video showing it to you. Let's go through all the parts and pieces, then air up a tire and see how it works. First off, in the set, you get this bag with a zipper pouch on either side. One side holds the accessories and the power cord. The other side holds the inflator itself inflator cable and this end can just screw right onto your tire valve you can also add this little extension piece if you want to use the lever action style so you do have options there we get the presta valve adapter a needle we get the little inflator adapter the uh, inflatables adapter and we get a extra fuse in case that comes up also get a nice long 12 volt power cord we'll go test it out on the truck to make sure we can reach all four tires Taking a look at the inflator itself, you see we have a button here for an LED light bar switched around over here. We have our plug-in for the power cable. And on the front we have our screw-in for the inflator. At the very top, we'll have a screen that'll light up once we get this thing plugged in, but you have the power button. You have a memory function, it'll cycle between different modes such as car, bike, uh, motorcycle uh, ball inflatables and then we have an up and down button to uh, set our inflation and it'll turn off automatically once you reach the psi that you set first thing we're going to need to do is make sure our power cord is long enough to reach all the wheels Boy, we are cutting it close there. We made it, but don't have an inch to spare. Get you a measurement on that cord. It's about 116 inches. You'll have to excuse my ding. Now, all that flashing and stuff is not actually happening. That's just a thing going on with the camera out in the sunlight. It's on solid and you can see it just fine. So don't worry about the, the flashiness thing going on there. You can see it's reading all zeros right now because I don't have the end hooked up to the tire. I just wanted to show you the, the interface of it. And here we can change our preset using the up-down buttons. So as we press M, we will cycle through our different presets. The first one is a vehicle. It's under bar. I don't understand why. Then we got a little moped-looking guy. We got a bicycle. And we have a basketball. Personally, I've never used any of the presets on one of these. I always just set what I want and go. So we're going to set this one to 35 PSI. Got it hooked up to the tire, and you can see we're at 21 and a half PSI. Put a little timer here. Let's see how long it takes to get up to 35 PSI. Keep in mind, this tire is a 265 65 17, larger than most tires, so this is going to take longer than like a passenger vehicle or SUV or something like that. We are going to set our preset to 35. Hit go. Well, there you go. Just took a little over five minutes to go from about 21 PSI up to 35 PSI on a big tire like that. It's actually faster than I expected. I've played with some cordless versions of inflators doing basically the same test and they took a lot longer, so I do like that a lot. Well, there it is, your Rock Gold 12 volt inflator. Overall, I think it worked really well, just as you would expect. The only thing I would hesitate about is the cord being, what was it, a little over nine feet long. If you have a regular sedan, passenger vehicle, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. If you have a truck or a larger SUV, it may be an issue. But the other side of the fence is a lot of SUVs nowadays have an ex uh, accessory outlet in the cargo area somewhere. So if you have that, then you don't care about the cord length either. Just be aware of it and make sure it'll fit your vehicle. Otherwise, it works really well. I like that you get some of these other accessories. You can use this clamp-on style instead of the screw-on style, whatever your preference is. It does have those memory functions. 
I don't personally use them. To me, it's just easier. I know what PSI I want, and I just go to it. But they are available for you if that was something you're interested in. Got it all buttoned back up in the case. You can see this side. We have the inflator in there. All the cords and accessories in that side. Throw it in the trunk. And we get that dreaded low tire pressure light coming on. Grab this guy and fix the problem real quick. Thanks for watching.